everyone, it's Jordan and Lucy again. We're gonna have to start calling this the Jordan and Lucy vlog instead of just the Jordan vlog. She's becoming a regular uh, guest here. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure that starting out, y'all probably want an update on what we talked about last week. Thank you all so, so much for your prayers and love. Um, I'll let you know that I'm doing better. I took the heart monitor off yesterday and sent that in. So hopefully in a week or two, we'll know more. But um, my issues, while they definitely aren't over my heart, you know, palpitation, racing, and all that stuff is not over. Um, it has definitely lessened and gotten better. So, no answers yet, but I'm thankful for the progress. And speaking of thankful, that ties in very, very nicely to what our topic is for today. You can probably see behind me. And given the fact that it's the day before Thanksgiving, I think you probably could have very easily guessed as well that our topic is on thankfulness. You leaving me, Lucy? Okay, bye-bye. Anyway... To start out, I was looking for a devotional to talk about Thanksgiving. I thought that maybe I could find a devotional, but then I got to thinking, you know what, I'm just going to skip that. I'm just going to go straight to the source. There's no better place to go than just directly to God's Word, right? So today I just want to read some Bible verses that talk about Thanksgiving and thankfulness to hopefully just get our hearts and minds ready and get us in the spirit of thankfulness for this season of Thanksgiving. So here are the verses. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Chronicles 16, 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Hebrews 12, 28. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. I think that's my favorite one right there. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Colossians 1, 12. And giving joyful thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. Colossians 3.17 Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So these are just a few of many verses that talk about the importance and the stress that God puts on thankfulness in the Bible. God calls us to be thankful. Many places in here, he calls us specifically to be thankful. This is not an option if we're Christians. This is something we're called to do by God. And he created us to be thankful as well. I mean, my dad sent me an article a while back that said that there were actual proven studies where thankfulness actually improved your mental health, your physical health. Thankfulness just improved the overall health and well-being of people because God created us beings to be thankful to him. So let's all try to do that. Let's all try to find things that we're thankful for this year. I wanna take a moment to say that I know people who will probably see this today that are having a really tough time this year. This will not be a Thanksgiving for them where their first thought is to be thankful. They will be struggling very, very hard. But I wanna challenge you guys. I wanna challenge someone who's going through a hard time, a good time, any time. I wanna challenge you to look for the things to thank God for even in those times. Now understand that I am not trying to minimize your pain. In no way am I trying to minimize the deep pain that you're feeling. I'm only saying that no matter what you're going through, you can still participate in this. Everyone is to participate in this challenge. It's for all of us. No matter what difficulties or struggles we're going through, we all should look for those things that God has blessed us with and those things that we can be thankful for. So between the meals tomorrow and the family time, which I hope you get a lot of, and the football games, if that's your thing, or the, the Macy's parade, if that's your thing, or even the dog show, I don't know what you like to watch, but um, in between all of those things, Take time to thank God. Just thank God for, for whatever he puts on your heart to thank him for. For family, for friends, for the food that you're eating, for just for whatever. Just 
for the blessings that he has given you. Because they're around. They're around. I'm sure that the pain is around too. I'm sure that the bad parts are around too. But the blessings are around. Just look for them. Ask God to open your eyes to them. And just be thankful. And most of all, most importantly, we can always be thankful for him. We can always be thankful for God, for Jesus, for his sacrifice, for the eternity in heaven that we know we're getting, thanks to him, for his grace and love. I wanna challenge all of us to do that today as we enter in to this day of Thanksgiving. And let's not just make it a day. I mean, let's make it a whole year. These verses don't say, be thankful on Thanksgiving day. Be thankful this one season and then move on. No, be thankful in all circumstances, every single day. So let's try to start this tomorrow and start something that we can make last the entire year. And I wanna say that I am so thankful for each and every one of you. You guys are awesome and I do truly thank God for you. Mwah. I wanna end with this verse. First Chronicles 29, 13. I'm hoping that it's something that all of us can agree to say tomorrow and always. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. God is good all the time. Amen.